good morning friends under the uh, category of the advanced searches for the systematic reviews now i would be introducing to you one more online tool which is called as colander now uh, <clears throat> this particular online tool is um, a very simple one however um, you know going forward i don't know how many of us would be able to um, you know go ahead and um, you know register ourselves which is absolutely free again for this particular uh, online tool now if you will look uh, first and foremost we need to create a review for ourselves okay now here you will see i have already registered myself i didn't have to pay anything and i have written a review name as momentum investment strategies and the description is rol and i created it now here this is how the entire thing would be coming in for me the moment i click on more you will see that it is the review in progress for example settings import export i'll be taking care of it later on however you will see that in the planning phase objective questions pico now i uh, did not um, um, you know discuss more immediately after this particular uh, video of mine i would be taking you through what exactly pico is and why pico and what is that particular framework for we will be discussing on that now key terms uh, selection criteria and extraction form okay this comes under the planning phase of our now why now, now you understood why i'm taking you through this particular uh, website and the introduction to this particular online tool just to make you aware that yes uh, the review progress that we are talking about goes in this particular process now you see um i uh, because i keep helping some of the medicine doctors in their research work and uh pharmacist or pharmaceuticals i mean the individuals doing the research in the domain of pharmaceuticals biotechnology biostats um, you know alternative medicine uh, totally focusing psychology and then even cognitive sciences and being uh, myself a student of mind uh, you know neurosciences these things attract me and therefore i can understand and i'm able to go ahead and take the help however uh, those uh, individuals coming from the uh, side of arts and humanities social sciences uh, management and uh, non medical domains especially you know uh, they need to um, i should say i'm just looking forward if we can get or the best would be to create our own excel which i'm uh, in the process and maybe by the end of the week i would be able to complete uh, the automated um, uh, google spreadsheet of mine and i would be sharing it with all of you now here uh, try to remember that this is the planning uh, phase of our review next comes what we call it as the citation screening now this is also mandatory for us to understand why the citation screening is necessary here you can see that um, you know how many of them were unscreened awaiting uh, then the uh, conflict ones the ones that i really require it or not these are certain things that you need to understand and proceed further also side by side now these are certain things you will see uh, which are very much mandatory for us and uh, you know under uh, okay now here we go uh, unscreened awaiting conflict excluded included now these are the ones that you need to include under the citation prepare your own excel sheet that's what i would say till your hands are comfortable and then uh, i'll showcase to you how to enter into the online tool next comes the full text screening now here under this category you will have to see unscreened how many of them awaiting how many conflict excluded included you see uh, i'll uh, share a scenario you know as i uh, i think i must have mentioned it in one of my videos where it, my student she went to um, uh, guru, guru jambeshwar university because they have got this uh, access to jgate and um, she took the pen drive and she was very happy excited by the time she came to me and she told me uh, ma'am i have been able to collect you know 75000 you know um, articles uh, books research papers for the particular uh, topic in question i just looked at her as a 75000 
okay so that's a nice bibliography and i told her so did you even prepare it or it is still in the pen drive itself did you prepare the bibliography for yourself then she said that ma'am i'm planning to segregate it because uh, okay i did not say anything to her i said okay let her take her own time i'm not supposed to intervene the creative phase of a student i hate it i uh, prefer that the students and the scholars are taking their time they come up with a nice creative idea and then they share it with me then this happened that i was at lovely professional university myself and trying to um, you know um, i was in the library because i was told that it is 24 by 7 library of uh, at lpu and i was very much excited after the workshop i was um, i really wanted to spend some time i love libraries and i wanted to spend my time in the library so when i went over there and this person who was really helpful for me and i really appreciate the way uh, this person dedicated um, not only when i was present in the in the library even after the hours also he helped me a lot to retrieve uh, certain um, papers that i really wanted so i was sitting with him and he said that ma'am why do you want to and this was on proquest um that a base that i was working now there he uh, was showcasing to me um you know the way i said uh, no i want all the articles that i that are pertaining to this particular topic that i was really was interested and he said that uh, no you can just let me know because i may not be able to uh, download all of them for you so you see um even the differences between the databases you can check it out all by yourself j gate the librarian at uh, guru Ambishwa University. He gave me the, uh, I mean, to the student. I should say for, um, I mean, that's what she shared with me. Um, you know, because even I went later on for some workshop at uh, that particular place, and I was myself, and I was able to get around thirty-five thousand. You know, within a span of two hours. Whereas for my student, he gave said seventy-five. Um, I think seventy-five thousand or seventy-eight thousand. It was one of these numbers within a span of three hours. And uh, you know, at LPU, this person. Person who was working out, and with just ten uh, articles, he took nearly twenty-four hours. So you can understand how the systems are also working, and you know you need to note down. And because I am focusing on these things from past two years, so I'm able to um, you know even make my own database for these things. So you see, full text screening. Now coming back to our the same. Now that is why I'm telling you is that when you yourself are doing, you need to. um you know record make a record uh, of your of that particular experience of yours and make a note of it that yes at this particular library this is what had happened at this particular thing this is what happened including the time and date also side by side now here you will see after the full text screening we have come up with what we call it as the data extraction now in the data extraction just see what not started started and finished so these are uh, i mean uh, data extraction level this take some time let me tell you and after that uh, you see these are the four things that you need to remember that yes i need it uh, for my own and once you are able now this is the uh, again coming back to the review settings ba basic one and what we can uh, take care of it now here uh, it will be like this and uh, sometimes if you are working in a team Uh, you see, most of the systematic reviews uh, prefer that you are working in a team. So here, as a person, you can invite the other two. So they are uh, screeners per citation one or two uh, screeners per full text. Now that is also there. You are giving the authority to the other person. So this also you can make a note. And later on, once I'll start showcasing to you this particular thing because I am working on a systematic paper right now, a review paper, I should say, and we have taken. care of the thing also side by side so these are certain things that i really wanted to and freeze review now see uh, in this particular thing if you have completed what was the process that was taking place if you have um, uh, you don't want uh, any other person to be there or you just want to freeze it or you want something some other changes at that time we go ahead you may freeze this review at any time to prevent further additions or changes from being made you have got the complete authority as one person if you are three four um, max to max i would say uh, limit yourself to three uh, too many people will be like uh, khichdi cooking you know so uh, we don't proceed into that um 
limit yourself dedicate to yourself that yes this person is going to do this this person delegate the work among yourself and then proceed further now you are the first author if you are the first author then you have got completely the right to go ahead and freeze it now from being any changes like for example one of them can say okay we don't want this we want to include because three people are working together so brainstorming really works over there and too many things however uh, when you are doing it just cut short it has to be only limited kind of a thing so in order to do that particular mm, job you know the freeze comes in and this change is reversible not it's totally in your hands whether you want to reverse it or you don't want it to be reversible now that's one thing and secondly after that is delete the review no you are not interested and you just want to delete it you may delete this review any time this change is not reversible uh, so you see there are certain uh, tools which are reversible there are certain tools which are irreversible so you see when you are making a note you, this is like online however in this google spreadsheet if you are using this particular let's say you are using this uh, ca calendar now if you are using this one you should make a note that yes uh, this was reversible this is a reversible step of mine and we were stuck up and therefore we did not proceed further using the online tool and we need to take care of it in separate form so uh, you see uh, these are certain things that i really wanted to share and i thought okay let me go ahead and uh, showcase this important tool also now if some of you are interested you can do it planning phase citation screening it's a wonderful i'm telling you it's such a um, uh, and now this comes another thing the research questions you see uh, because i told you systematic review goes step by step let me complete with this one and then i'll discuss more now the research questions you can add one now here you can see add first question save it search terms now key term synonyms group now you see how many of us have done that we all feel very happy that yes my paper is published however when you are working with systematic reviews it has uh, more um i should say uh, you are going to uh, do a lot of work on it a lot of labor kind of a thing i would definitely use that word and and uh, definitely yes you are going to invest a good amount of time along with certain things that are dwelling more into it also now here you will see key term then add a key term save it then uh, after that the selection criteria now if you go further now here comes in add the selection criteria now add save add save as much as you want then label description type allowed values again you can take care of it by adding as many as you want you can go further now these are the next level that we have got and in pico Uh, I haven't yet showcased to you what is population. Now, since a uh, PICO framework, especially for the um, again, um, you know, based on the experimental research design uh, study, I should say. So they have got this kind of variables. They are going to uh, see at the level of intervention. Then go ahead. do the comparisons before what happened and later on you know that observation is also there and the outcome especially if you are working in the marketing research organizational behavior human resources and the places where you think uh, the topics of before and after prior post uh, posteriori if you are working on those styles of your studies then you can definitely use this kind of a framework otherwise there are other frameworks which i'll be introducing to you later on Uh, what are the popular frameworks that we have got in research itself and you can take care of it also side by side so this goes with the pico and next comes the research questions objective definitely yes then next is the pico and uh, this is under the planning phase so you will see that um, you know i have not taken you through enter because i did not enter each and everything the moment i am able to do it i'll be showcasing to you and anyway uh, my systematic review is still at the non publication phase so i cannot uh, dwell into it i cannot show they will not allow me to do the entire part however you can proceed further and you can um 
uh, you know create or you can log in here it's a, it's absolutely free it does not uh, they are not charging you anything okay so it it is a wonderful thing now what do you think about calendar and the systematic review you can think about it i think i'm going to stop here right now and let me proceed further with yet another um, tool for us uh, with help of the advanced search tools that are available for the systematic reviews till then thanks and take care bye